Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to check the Wind 5 Lite, a new lightweight 5-inch racing frame by AGRC. In this video I'm going to quickly assemble the frame and go over its features and specs, and hopefully soon I'm going to be able to feature it in a build and flight video. First of all, in terms of packaging, inside the box you can find some stickers, the assembly diagram, two high-quality Velcro straps in different sizes, four interchangeable 5-inch carbon fiber arms, two optional supporting arms, the middle, bottom and top plates, all the needed spacers, standoffs and screws for assembling the frame, two zip ties, an anti-skid rubber battery sticker, and 3D printed TPU parts that are going to enable you to mount a nano-sized FEB camera, secure the antennas of the radio receiver and video transmitter, and quickly flip over the quadcopter in case of a crash using turtle mode. In order to assemble the frame, First secure the arms between the middle and bottom plates using the provided M3 screws, assemble the standoffs, insert the camera and antenna's 3D printed TPU parts, and finally secure the top plate using the shortest M3 screws and the shark fin using the two provided zip ties. In terms of specs, the wheelbase of the frame is 208mm and it features a true X pattern. It weighs about 80 grams without the supporting arms and 94.7 grams including them. It supports nano-sized FEV cameras. On the back of the frame you can find these two holes that are going to enable you to mount an immortal T antenna or an LED strip. The thickness of each replaceable carbon fiber arm is 5mm. The thickness of the bottom and top plates is 2mm. The thickness of the middle plate is 2.5mm. And the distance between the middle plate and the top one is 25.2mm. In addition, the motors are only going to be secured using three screws and on the bottom plate you can find both 20x20 20 20 and 30.5x30.5mm mounting holes. Here you can see what it looks like after assembling the new AJRC Zeus F745 20x20mm stack, which is based on a 45A BLA32 4-in-1 ESC and an F7 flight controller. This stack supports up to 6S batteries and features a slim form factor, so as you can see everything is nice and tidy and you'll have enough space to add a video transmitter on top of the stack. In addition, it's worth mentioning that the flight controller features a 9V BDC and a dedicated connector for a DJI Air unit, so this stack is also great for DJI builds. Anyway, that's going to be it for my quick review of the AJRC Wind 5 Lite, which seems like a good option for a lightweight build, and as I mentioned before, hopefully I'm going to be able to test it soon. As always, I thank you for watching my video, I hope you enjoyed it and you find it useful. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments section down below, don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notifications bell if you're not already subscribed. See you on my next videos and goodbye.